two things I like. I like conditioning and I, I love good posing. And your posing, I mean, it's probably in the top five in the pro league today. Ta I mean, tell me why it's so important to you to put such create. We said on the live stream, myself and Lauren, like you were like this. Lauren was like going crazy. <laughs> she was like, "Wow, fuck, you're posing." She said it's so creative. It's so artistic. It's like like you said about classic and it being more like from the soul more than the body. So tell me where you get that inspiration from and that, and also the fact that you're still you're one of the probably the only pros that really put so much effort into their posing when so many others do not. Tell us why. First of all, I saw Lila Brothers posing. I think it's uh, <laughs> yeah, beautiful. More than entertaining, it's it's something special. And uh, for me, posing routines will always be something like a, like a photo album. If you see like ten years before, prior, you don't rem don't exactly remember even who was your girlfriend or what was your job or something. But if you see the posing routine, you remember. Okay, I did this because of I had this expression of my life. I had these plans, and I, I I always make a little story with the posing, because if you do something like a story which maybe never be revealed for the audience, they feel it. It's much more than just posing. It's a connection. Yeah, they don't really know what's going on, but they feel that uh, that that's a sort of story behind of the posing. I love that, and um, like when you see Terence Ruffin, yeah, he have the best ever uh, creativity in this I saw in my life, and uh, you know, it's just I, I always try to motivate people to do this, and uh, I was watching many shows in the past. Also now, but uh, when I had the chance to see a show live, I was go there. Yeah. And you can, in the amateur, you, you have seen like over 100 guys on stage. Mm -hmm. And sometimes you was go home and you told yourself it was totally boring. And you would just eat your box and, uh, and joke with your friends. And sometimes you saw some good athletes, good performance, but not a good posing. But the, if there was like one or two guys, they, it shocked you. Yeah. That was like you remember when it. you when you was go home, you told yourself it was a good night, good evening. Mm. It was worth to go to watch the show. Also, you can see big fights. That's also funny. But when you see a good posing routine, it was like whoa. For me. So how do you do you actually are you one because like say Cedric McMillan used to put very good posing routines together, but he would just go out there and feel the music and do whatever he, he was obviously very competent to pose. He could pose, he knew what he wanted to do. And then some of the guys, like someone like Lila Brada, would be practicing that very same routine for months. Do you do you someone that really has a, a clear idea and every single movement is choreographed? Is that what happens when you get out, or do you just go out and you just feel it and go for it? It's in between. Okay. Because okay. now um, my days are so busy that sometimes I just realize that tomorrow is the competition time. And <laughs> yeah. like uh, in yeah. the Arnold Classic uh, Ohio, uh, I was really on the flight. I started to to think what I'm gonna do. I had a plan, mm -hmm. but uh, if you if you try it in the reality, you realize that from this pose to change to that pose, it's not possible or, or you cannot handle this pose down. So it was like uh, like one hour, uh, one day before the show, I tried uh, like five times with yep. the music in your, in your ears. You start the music, then run on the side of the bed and start to move something. <laughs> yeah. And it was like, oh my God, that's going to be funny. Uh, on stage if I if I fail and uh, I did the poses in the proper way while I, I wanted to and the, on the music but uh, in between the poses sometimes uh, I try if I have more time I'm opening with the fingers the pose you know flexing and opening like a, like a ballerina it's, Vin it's you Vince Taylor also, Kevin Vince Taylor Kevin Navrone Lila Brada they would they wouldn't just use their they would just pose their bodies they would use their faces to express themselves like they would be their eyes would be shut their hands would be doing things it's like it was it was a complete it was more i can't explain it i can't explain it what was it it's more like a, a total 
body experience. It wasn't just them doing pose one, pose two. It was like they were kind of into it. And also Kevin Lavron was singing the music sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I was that. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. amazing, amazing. Yes, someone told me in the past if so, if a bodybuilder poses with his fingers, uh, that's complete. Yes. And um, I think if if also you can have changed the the rhythm of your movement, like you flexing heavy and you open fast and then slow take the other position, they feel that it's more uh, more prepared. Not not. Uh, because there is more, if, if you have more difference, the posing itself, how you do it, the face, the hands, and the, the rhythm, that's a complete project, I, I think. I, I, but this, I feel, it takes like one month. Right. I, I feel like transitions aren't really a thing anymore. And I think that's something that's missing and I, apart from people like yourself and Terence Ruffin, it's the transitions. Because I had, I heard, I was a bodybuilder at a, a recent show, and he won best poser, and he doesn't actually do any transitions. He hits the poses very nicely, but it's just moving from one pose to the next. And for me, that's half the routine gone. Do you see what I mean? Half the routine is missing because, like Leela Brada, I mean that 1991 Olympia. I mean the transitions were just like. I still can't do one that he did with the shoulder one. I can't, I couldn't even do it now, even if I tried. It's just, it's it's mesmerizing to see how one, how someone, like they, in the 80s and 90s, how they went from one pose to the other. For me, that was, that was what made a good pose routine, not just the pose itself. Um, if, if they hit the pose the proper way, that means they know their body and they know how to show their best and yeah. hide the weakness. Mm. It's also very important as a, in the eye of the judges. But in the eye of the audience, you have to give something more about yourself. You know, when I was young, we have seen uh, the, the, the Olympians only at the Olympia in, in a video cassette or I don't know, videotape, you <laughs> yeah, know? Yeah. Yeah. So you you the only thing you was able to know about them is that two minutes about they talk about their preparation and uh, motivation and everything and then the posing routine like three minutes. So it was five minutes expression for one year. Yeah. And and that that's why it was so important to watch every detail of his movement and everything to learn he how is this guy believe about the sport about himself about the others you know you like like how they treat each other so it's uh, i think it's uh, that's why i think it's important but today the fans can follow you every day you know they see your everyday life and uh, for me, it's strange now because uh, now you 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 are able to be closer for the athletes, mm -hmm. and uh, I see that the young generation lost their respect because of that. Hey, did you like that video? Smash that like button, subscribe to MD, and please comment down below. Thanks for watching.